Um, well, now to the young athlete whose promising career as a marathon runner has been shattered by officialdom and it all went wrong after one of his finest achievements. All the months of training leading up to it, all the early mornings, all the long runs, there was just absolutely no doubt in my mind that I was going to finish that race. Because based on, on the last 10 metres of the race, it looks like you're not going to get there. I figured I'd already gone that far. There's no way anything was going to stop me to, to finish that race. It's a simple question of right or wrong. And tonight, you're the judge. Watch how a dramatic finish to a marathon led to allegations of assault and threats of legal action. And every single bit of it was caught on camera. Jonathan Raymond is an up-and-coming runner. The 24-year-old from Sydney has competed in several marathons and takes his sport pretty seriously. But a few weeks ago, at the Canberra Marathon, he was disqualified in controversial circumstances. The marathon has been going for three hours and 29 minutes, and for Jonathan, it's almost over. He can see the finish line, and he's on track to beat his personal best time. About 500 metres to go, started to, to black out. 50 metres to go, my legs just felt like concrete. And 10 metres to go, my body just gave, it just collapsed. Um, looked up to the finish line, realised that I still had about 40, 50 seconds left in, um, in attaining my goal of, of, of breaking my time. Jonathan started to crawl to the finish line, his brave finish cheered on by the crowd. It's not exactly how I envisaged, envisaged finishing the race, but it's how it happened and the fact of the matter is that I finished that 42.2 kilometre course on my own accord. For Jonathan, the marathon is officially finished. He's crossed the line and beaten his previous record in dramatic fashion. But the real drama is just about to start. I go, Jonathan, Jonathan, do it, do it, do it, go, 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 go. And, and I never thought that he would make it, to be honest with you. Jonathan's dad, Ben, was cheering from the crowd when his son crawled over the line. The minute I saw that, that woman and walking with, with a piece of paper or newspaper under her left arms and going to Jonathan and with only one arm, I jumped the fence. I said, I'll be the best for you, Jonathan. I'll be the best for you. I'll make it so quickly and I'll make it professional. The race officials who were first to Jonathan tried to pull him up off the ground. That's when his dad stepped in from the right and a paramedic from the left to carry him away. I knew I can put him on my arm in within a few seconds, safety, without interfering with the runners. If you look at the video, I was very careful not to interfere with the runners. I was patient to run behind them and I, I knew that I'm going to lift him correctly. I knew his leg is collapsed. How can you ask him to stand on his leg? I passed out after that. I must have passed out for between 30 and 45 seconds. The next thing I remember, I woke up at the St John's Ambulance tent and I was just spewing my guts out. Um, in total, I spewed about 15 times. My fingers were numb, my toes were numb, my legs had cramped, but you finished the marathon. Not only had I finished that whole race unassisted, but I'd also broken the time that I set out to achieve that morning. But two days later came this. Hi, Jonathan. I am writing to advise you of your disqualification from the Canberra Marathon. Assaulting our race marshals is taken as a very serious offence and will not be tolerated under any circumstances. How did you feel when you received that email? I received it, when I received the email, I was just in complete shock. This is the so-called assault by Jonathan's dad on the female race marshal. Take a good look. Oh, I don't think there's a father or equally a mother out there who wouldn't do exactly the same thing. Jonathan, you've watched the footage a hundred times, I'm sure. Does your dad assault a race official in any way? There's no doubt in my mind that there's no assault that takes place in that footage. 
Ben, did you assault a rice official? No, not at all. I, I don't even remember touching anybody. At first, Obviously, Jonathan's time job, was though. listed in the official results, but later he was cut from the record books. Jonathan wrote to event organisers appealing for common sense and warning he was prepared to go to court to have his achievement recognised. But marathon officials have so far refused to overturn their decision. I just want to be reinstated. I want my disqualification overturned and I just would like to be back in the record books for the Canberra Marathon 2009, having completed it on my own accord. And for the record, we did approach race organisers for an on-camera interview, but they were una unavailable before we went to air. A statement is on our website. If you think Jonathan has been harshly treated, send us an email or give us a call and we'll pass them on to him and race officials. After the break, Shopper Squad taking the pain out of buying a washing machine. Whether they go for a top-load machine or a front-load machine. <laughs>